Um, I am Haley Flum. I am a paranormal enthusiast. I have been ghost hunting before at the Black Diamond Cemetery in Washington. I've always been super interested in the paranormal. And I've been to the Witch's Castle a few times during the day, heard the lore about it, thought I'd check it out at night, see if we can catch some ghouls on camera. So tonight, me and my crew, Hayden, Sierra, Dustin, we'll be trying to catch some paranormal on camera. Um, we're gonna see if we can contact any spirits that are kind of roaming around here. The witch's castle here is supposedly haunted. Back in the 1800s, a man by the name of Danford Block um, owned this property and he had a helper that he hired to help his family of 10. And that man's name was Mortimer Stump. And Mortimer Stump actually fell in love with Balk's daughter and Balk would not give his approval. The two decided to elope in Vancouver and when they came back to Portland, Balk shot Mortimer in the face with a double barrel shotgun. <laughs> he described that his wife had bewitched him to do it and he went a bit mad. He was arrested for his crimes and he became the first person to be officially and legally hung in the state of Oregon. So it said that Stump and um, Balk's spirits remain here on this property where they lived during the 1800s. The witch's castle serves as a reminder of these murders. <laughs> did we see any ghosts? No, unfortunately we did not see the spirits of Mortimer or Balk, unfortunately.